Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with uh, Shaman King episode number 30. All right, the previous episode, um, we had, uh, again, that full episode was completely focused on Hanagumi and Tamao <coughs> and Jun. I think, yeah, that was her name. I remembered her name this time. I always forget her name. Um, Tamao and Jun. And we also saw Anna for a little bit, but she basically, like, you know, she w went with the kids to protect them and so that they are able to reach the um, tournament in time. And uh, but everything was kind of focused on Hanagumi and Tamao and Jun. And we kind of saw how, like, you know, Tamao and Jun have increased their power, but at the same time, it's not actually enough because first of all they were kind of overnumbered by one you know person they were two and the hanagumi were three and another thing was probably the reason that uh, they uh, lost because um i think the hanagumi was a bit stronger than them i think so from the way the match went that's how it was implied but thankfully um miki hisa comes in in the nick of time he saves them and uh, you know like you can see how mickey his guys uh, mickey Hisa is so overpowered uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah they went away and then there's this one person one efficient patch efficient who came and he said that yeah you guys like let's get out of here you won't be able to defeat him and uh, then we also got to see a little bit about the golem as how mickey Hisa explains that if the golem somehow was able like you know uh, was activated everyone would have died so like it's something some kind of like a i don't know like some kind of a trump card they have which probably i think mickey Issa is planning to use on how so that's why like you know the kids are actually accompanying him to the shaman fight so and we also get a little bit of information about the kids as well like anna asks them and how like you know the kids not the kids but uh, the younger brother because the uh, the sister is kind of like you know like does not talk and because of the shock that she has gotten and uh, from her childhood like we get everything from uh, the little brother how she says that her like you know their father was actually uh, like i think killed yeah that's what he said like killed and how <laughs> excuse me uh, and how the, like you know they got uh, the golem and all that stuff they kind of said and there are like you know hidden implications that probably will like you know this is going to be something uh, quite important in the future we'll probably get more information about this in the future and what the golem is and other stuff which i'm sure a lot of people are thinking about now so yeah that was that and uh, we barely got anything from uh, yours like you know what happened to yo after that so i'm guessing this episode will be focused on yo so let's see let's check that out so yeah without further ado let's get started this is episode number uh, 30 of shaman king so i'll be putting the subtitles and the time i hear sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one go oh okay Okay, this is you. Okay, oh. Art is the modem. Okay. Um, I forgot what they're called. Those uh, things that um, that are that were rotating. Uh, the fan things. I think they're called something. I can I forgot their name. Wind Wind wheels are. I think that's what they're called or asters, something like that. I can't remember. Like like an an anime. I've seen a lot of these things. You know, in a lot of animes. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing this episode will be focused on Yo and the whole Ren situation.
All right, let's go. Oh yeah, here we go. Yeah, oh my god, he... He... Uh... Okay. Mm, the full name. Um, he just wants to help help his friend. Yeah, like I think that's what also was actually eating away at um, Horo Horo. What's with the music? <laughs> oh damn. Hmm. I'm sure he has his own past, you know, like Marco. I'm sure he has. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, I would not like that, yo. Damn, everyone's just leaving. What? Mm. Yeah. Oh no. I thought something was going to happen and he was... Okay. I wonder how will how how will he react because he really wanted to fight you. Oh, these people, we have not seen them. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, is this like the past? Yeah, we've never heard of anything about their how they met and everything. So it's on level part one. Oh, is this a is this a flashback? I think so. I think so. Is this is this Anna's story? Ten years old. <laughs> Who are those little are those shig shigans? <laughs> Kino. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> He's ten years. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, that's shaking up all the issues. It also. Oh my god. I. How does Tamau react to this? <laughs> oh my god, yeah. Seven years. Wow. Ha <laughs> ha.
<laughs> is this a dad? What? Who's this? Oh, wait, this this Galaxy Railroad is Oh, okay, the, the ending. And that's why she, he was riding a train. It's, he's reading the Galaxy Okay, I'll talk about it later. It's two, two, two tails. Yeah. <laughs> Volga spirits. <laughs> oh my god. They don't act like it. Alley cat. Who knows, maybe he's like 10,000 years old or something. <laughs> yare, yare. Nah, he, so he's like a samurai or something. Samurai cat. The way he acts and talks. Oh, there you go. 10 centuries. 10 centuries. A thousand years. Wait, I was right. Okay, Mata Mune, Neko Mata, okay. Oh, that's why two tails. <laughs> I think the number of Tails kind of, I forgot, uh, implies something. <laughs> I was right. I just said that maybe he's like thousand years old or something. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Look at them. <laughs> Hmm. Diapers. Oh, <laughs> all right. Oh, really? Oh, it was in name. Okay. Oh, interesting. I thought Amidamaru was the f okay. Okay, this is actually the ending song that we see. Hmm. <laughs> oh. Well, mm. oh, okay, okay. Mm. Okay, that's right. All right. <laughs> oh, they're actually going to meet uh, Anna. The one who awaits for you will know. 
またもね<笑>オソレさん。オソレザン、マウンテンオフィア。Well, because it's Anna. Anna, like, you know, deals with spirits and everything. I'm sure that's why. <coughs> Knowledge, yes. Pamphlet. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, like they'd say that he's been serving the Asakura, but so I'm guessing he was with someone else. Everything at the end. Oh, is this Anna's grandma or something? Yeah. Oh, this, this, this lady. Mono Asakura. It's the front. Oh. Oh, oh, okay, okay. A very real, okay. So she's like an exception. Hmm. 
<laughs> well, his... Yeah. <laughs> True. Oh. 50 years? That's quite early. Oh, okay, that's why. Thousand years. It's a long time. Always like your heart. Oh, last round fight five hundred years. Ah, <coughs> <laughs> oh, okay. There you go. <laughs> oh boy. Oh my god. <laughs> You're blocking traffic. <laughs> oh, he realized that it's it's him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, kind of like Anna. <laughs> uh. Ooh. Out of all the Africa. It's her condition. What? <coughs> oh, okay. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Oh, she said that, uh, like, you know, in her voice. I thought she was thinking about that. <laughs> oh, boy. Whoa! <laughs> Run! Oh, wow! <laughs> yeah! Um, I don't think that will work. 
Damn. There you go. <laughs> oh no. Oh, this is there he is. Oh boy. Yeah. Hmm. Lost souls. Yeah, so different from spirits. Okay. All right, let's. Woo! <coughs> oh! Okay! He also, obviously he knows that. He's been living for a thousand years. Whoa, it broke? Oh, use that as an, okay, medium. Wait, one thing. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Like, he's a spirit, so... Okay, I did not understand what he said in the end. What does this mean even? Also, does not live well? Just a sec. Let me check. Um. It is just love is a piece of transparent cloth. Okay. Love is a piece of transparent cloth. All right, all right. I think that's like the rough translation. I might be wrong though, but that's what it means. Okay, like uh, in a way, uh, Matamune kind of speaks in a like traditional way, you know. That's why I'm guessing the way they translated this was in a more, um, you know, more uh, like using difficult words, which are like traditional words that they use, like in a more um, what do you call it? In a more lit, uh, you know, like how. The words are written how like you know it's explained in um literary works like shakespeare or stuff i think that's why they used that type of uh, translation that's why un i was unable to understand what he actually said in the end let me just uh see okay okay um abundant on the street desolate okay Sulking in the shadows, feeling the way of the world. Okay, understand? Love is hello. Hellos, goodbyes, and gossamer. What does gossamer mean? Gossamer. Gossamer. Fine, filmy substance consisting of cobwebs spun by small spiders, especially seen in autumn. Oh. Delicate material or substance. All right. Love is hellos, goodbyes, and gossamer. Okay. Okay. Also, is on revoil. Okay. <coughs> Love is like a transparent cloth. I think that's what it roughly translates at. All right. Interesting. I'm guessing like that's actually referring to Anna or something. We'll see. We'll see in the next episode because this is part one. Part two will come in the next week. Okay. <clears throat> a few things we get here is first of all, we get a flashback, which I was, I was really wanting this. Like, you know, I really wanted to know how Anna and Yo met and we finally got it in this episode. So... Like that was, I, I was really excited for this, like, you know, after seeing, after realizing that we're probably going to get a flashback of Anna. Now, okay, the first part, we kind of see how, um, Yo really does, um, 
give up on his uh, shaman king uh, candidacy you know he he gave up not gave up but he he decided to pull out of the match now i'm sure something will happen after this why like you know which will probably make him fight again because otherwise you know like it it, it doesn't make sense i'm sure something will happen in some way or the other he will surely fight how in the future but i'm like you know we have to see how that happens now um <clears throat> I'm sure that um, Jan will help uh, Ren now. And the f in the first part, Marco was kind of surprised here. Like, like you know, like the, the thing that Marco was feeling in this episode at the beginning was, I think, the similar feeling that um, Horohoro also felt. Like, it was a little different, but you know, Horohoro was frustrated at being unable to do anything to help them. And at the same time, he was also unable to, like, you know, like, what can I say? Like, like, the thing that he said that i can't understand um why you would give away all of this after coming so far and <clears throat> like marco also had this question in his head and like you know the way they kind of at that scene the way they kind of showed how like you know uh ryu and um, Faust kind of said that you won't understand what yo is feeling because you don't uh like you know what did he say you like you know because he knows the pain of sacrifice well or something like that he said <clears throat> okay uh, you may not know the sorrow yeah there you go you may know the sorrow of loss but you don't know how to love love oh okay 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 I, I i'm okay he says something different okay okay oh i i misread this portion while i was seeing it okay first actually says that it may be hard for you to understand you may know the sorrow of loss but you don't know how to love okay i actually when i was reacting to this i actually read that you do not know the sorrow of loss or something like that okay it, it makes more sense now i was thinking like why is like um false saying that you don't know the sorrow of loss because i'm sure mark also went through something uh, okay i actually read it wrong at that moment okay anyways my mistake so yeah, uh, Foss says that you don't, <clears throat> you might know the sorrow of loss, but you don't know how to love. And yeah, he's correct at this, I, I think, you know, because he says that, you know, loss, but that like, you know, uh, experiencing loss probably made him like this, being unable to love. By love, he does not mean literal love. He's just meaning the way, like, you know, the, the feeling of trusting others, you know, the feeling of, uh, like, you know, the feeling of trusting others or how to... <clears throat> depend on others like you know so that's why he said that you don't know how to love and that's kind of we can see that here because you know like the only person i think he actually um is uh what do you call it loyal to is jan otherwise i don't think he actually trusts anyone else you know and I'm, I'm sure that kind of ties to his past some way or the other because like all the ex-laws are somehow affected were somehow affected by how so <clears throat> that probably like you know then because he was uh, he learned the loss he learned the sorrow of loss that is the main reason why he he probably does not actually trust others now and doesn't that's why Faust says you don't know how to love <clears throat> that's why he's so surprised at yo because he's basically sacrificing his his uh, future for his friend and like that's why you know like that's why i can kind of understand why marco was very surprised in this uh, in the first section because this is something very foreign to him because uh, for him i'm sure his past was pretty messed up where probably someone betrayed him or something happened something messed up probably happened that's why seeing yo who's like a very pure person you know who's actually sacrificing his, his future for someone else he's surprised and uh, yeah that I, I don't blame him here because his past is probably messed up but anyways <clears throat> and then we see some like you know uh, little uh, scenes of different characters here and we also saw i think i think that their name was gandhara you know the characters we who we still have not seen and i'm i'm, I'm quite I'm, I'm sure we'll get to meet them in the future and yeah that'll be kind of like i i i, I think like they said something about them being very strong or something so i'm kind of interested in how they are how much strong they are we'll probably see in the future and then we shift to anna's part where we see anna kind of comes and 
Anna says like I was too late. Uh, when I think about it, you've been doing this to me from the beginning or some. Yeah, he's, she said that from the day we met. <clears throat> and then we shift to the flashback. Now here in the flashback, we can see how. Uh, okay, the first surprise here, like we got, is um, Matamune. Now obviously we've seen Matamune from the <clears throat> ending, <clears throat> ending song. And I thought like they were actually going to meet Matamune now, but I did not think that the Matamune was actually a character who you already knew from the past. Now here's the thing: um, seeing how we don't see Matamune now, you know, all these thirty episodes we've never seen Matamune before, and this is the first episode he's been introduced, and it's a flashback. It probably implies that something must have happened to him, you know, and. It's probably going to be sad these few episodes where we probably will get to know what happened to Matamune and you also kind of hinted something like that like you know like this is the something he said something about that like you know like Matamune being like this is the last time that Matamune will be here like he kind of hinted that in the middle of the episode so <clears throat> yeah okay so Matamune is a Nekomata and Nekomatas have I think multiple tales two or three tales and I think their tails are somehow connected to something. What are the just a sec. Just like how uh night tail foxes, like the number of more tails they have, the more stronger they are. Um I think they're Nekomata. Um They're very different. Uh, live in mountains, domestic cat have grown old to transform into yokai. Mm. Okay, just a sec. Okay, um, a cat that is several years of age will come to have two tails and become the yokai called Nekomata. Oh, they have only two tails. Okay, I was actually, I think I was actually mixing Nekomatas up with um, nine tail foxes, you know, Kitsunes. So, okay, Nekomatas have only two tails, not more than that. Okay, understand. Um, all right, so like, <laughs> like cats have grown old. They transform to nekomatas i guess uh and they kind of become like this type of a spirit cat spirit so okay we see uh, matamuni here for the first time and we hear that he has been serving the asakuras for a thousand years and he loves some books and everything and it's kind of interesting that the book he was reading was uh, the galaxy Lail railroad which also is kind of like a story i think about like a train where there's like galaxy railroad i think it's something like that um galaxy railroad night on the galactic railroad yeah sometimes around the milky way railroad night um okay it's a uh, night yeah it is it is i think related to a train or something where is it Yeah, it's a, uh, it has a locomotive train. Okay, interesting. Yeah, I think like it's interesting to see how that he was actually reading that book. While <coughs> after that, we like, you know, jump up on a train to get, go to uh, Anna's place. And then also in the ending, we see how they are sitting in the train. Like it, it did like, you know, like the ending kind of did remind me of the galactic, uh, you know, railroad. I, I kind of thought about it, but now I can see that, yeah, this this kind of like in, like you know it's kind of like that as well like why because he's reading uh the book and i'm guessing that's like kind of like a uh what can i say like i don't know like that's like i don't know what i'm saying but you know like uh i think that's kind of why they made him read this book and why the ending is like that like you know them uh, like sitting in a train and going somewhere so Anyways, uh, that's uh, not what I'm, I was trying to say. Okay, anyways, okay. Um, so he becomes uh, Yo's. What was just a sec? Where is that section? Okay, <clears throat> here it is. He was my first spirit ally. There you go. So that means, uh. Like I, all this time, I thought Amidamaru was the first, uh, like you know, uh, spirit, uh, like you know, spirit that he got. But it's, that's not it. Like 
Matamune was with him. And even though, like, you know, he says that Matamune, like, you know, he, he's like a very strong spirit. And that's why he never actually, like, you know, like, uh, Yo was not in a position to give him orders. But still, he was his ally, his spirit ally. So, yeah. All right. So now that was that. And <clears throat> now here's one thing, one interesting thing. In the end, we see the uh, Matamune kind of, uh, like, you know, doing that oversoul. Now, the thing that actually really surprised me is like, I never thought that spirits can also do that. So, so that means like, how is that? Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm sure we'll get more explanations here because he's a spirit and he can do oversoul. Like, how is he doing oversoul then? Like, does he have a spirit contracted with him? That means I doubt that. So is he like using himself? We'll probably get to know that in, in the upcoming episodes and yeah all right so anyways um we see like you know like matamune and yo kind of in the train and how yo talks about how he you know because he is like a shaman people in his school you know ignored him talk like you know never like he didn't have any friends and all that stuff so and he did not want to lie to people that's why he actually said that yeah this is my family you know thing and I'm like this. So people started avoiding him from that, I guess. And okay, now then they decide to go to Osorezan. And it's like the, the place of dead and how spirits kind of hover around over there. And Anna kind of, I guess, Anna lives, not lives there, but um, frequents there. Probably because she is, you know, her power is connected to spirits. And that's why, like, you know, he, she kind of frequents there, I guess. Probably, I don't know, maybe she kind of trains there or something. We'll see in the upcoming episode. I'm sure they'll tell us. Okay, and <clears throat> then we... All right, and then we get to meet... Uh... Oh, and then uh, Matamune kind of talks about the grandma. You know, how she he knew her 50 years ago and all that stuff. And then there's one thing that he says here is that uh, always let your heart choose your path. This is a sincere advice from one who fought in the last shaman fight 500 years ago. Now, here's one thing. During this sentence, I thought that, okay, so he was probably someone's spirit, you know, ally and contacted with someone. And both of them fought the shaman fight. But now that we saw the ending scene, now I'm thinking maybe it was him who actually fought the shaman fight. Maybe he was actually not contracted with someone. Maybe he himself was like, you know, the only participant. So it would not actually surprise me because <clears throat> we saw him actually doing the oversoul. So I, I think he's himself is capable enough to be fighting a shaman fight, you know. So uh, yeah, we'll see that. I, I, like We'll get to know in the future, I guess, what happened there as well. And then like you know she he goes away we meet anna and uh, as always we can see how anna is <coughs> you know like very <coughs> direct about stuff and anna realized that this is this yo this is like his her fiance and then this another thing that they kind of talk about <coughs> the grandma and uh, matamune uh okay where is it they talk about anna okay Matamune says, is her condition serious? <clears throat> uh, yes. The girl is cursed, okay. By her birth, by her powers, and by her fate. Even you may not come through this unscathed. Anna is a force to be reckoned with. Interesting. So something is, uh, okay. So something is probably the matter with Anna here and we will probably see that in the upcoming episode and here i think this is the first time you actually encounters a demon here and you know he gets surprised he used this is shikigami but those doesn't work then we see uh, matamune come out and use uh, uh, senji rakesu uh, okay and here we see that his medium is the pipe. He uses that as an intermediary. 
and yo says that i didn't know much about this stuff back then about ghosts that have their own oversouls yeah and or demons now again i was also surprised here as, as i saw him suddenly do oversoul just like how yo says that he did not know before that ghosts and like spirits can't have oversouls and i was also i was also surprised i i was like wasn't he supposed to be the spirit himself so how is he making using this oversoul i think it's probably that he's not like you know it's not that he's contracted with some spirit it's just that he is using himself to do something you know he's he, he's he's I, I guess i think he's basically capable enough to use himself i might be wrong though but yeah because i yeah I, I doubt that like you know like there is a spirit contracted to him we'll see and the the, the suspicious stuff here is that we see anna is actually kind of peeking on them like okay interesting probably something is going on here as as they kind of explained uh, like you know that the conversation with the grandma now it might be that uh, like I'm, I'm making a guess here the thing that the condition that they said explained that probably is like you know anna like you know is, is affected with maybe like ghosts and demons are actually like you know like attracted to her or something you know and probably that's why like you know like anna actually was in front of them so it wouldn't actually surprise me if the ghost was actually following yo because i don't know like maybe because it i'm not sure maybe, maybe because he, he like you know the ghost smelt uh something in yo or like you know like realize that yeah this this person was with anyways i'm i'm thinking too much but it, it probably is something like that it would actually not surprise me if these spirits were actually attracted towards anna because you know anna is like you know can do stuff with spirits so yeah who knows maybe we'll see and uh, yeah that was it so okay like I, I really love the fact that we're getting more about their backstories Anna and Yo's backstories and we're going to get more of it and uh, Mata Mune you know Mata Mune is I'm, I'm sure something is going to happen to him because we, we we've never heard of him before this is the 30th episode and we're learning about him in a flashback that itself kind of shows that yeah he he's probably not alive anymore like like he is a spirit but i'm talking about like he's he's not in this world anymore something must have happened to him otherwise like why have we never heard of him before all this time so and why yeah like if matamune was in the, like you know still alive or still in this world like i doubt uh, you would actually uh, need to contract like you know need a contracted spirit just like how he got amidamaru i doubt he would have needed that because matamune was with him if Matamune was in this world so yeah something something probably happened to him and it's probably it definitely will be sad and we'll see I, I, I one thing I really like is like the Matamune's uh, character design like you know he's like a samurai it's like that <laughs> pipe in his uh, mouth talks like a samurai and uh, yeah okay that's it uh that was this episode so all right so that's it so that's it guys so thank you guys for watching this was my reaction to shaman king episode number 30 oh another thing um i i i to kind of thinking about this like when they showed us that uh yo did like you know like forfeited and he went away i was thinking about this i was thinking like how would how how is how going to react to this you know because he he really wanted to fight uh, yo so i'm interested in this like how will he react if he realizes that yo actually won't fight after this we'll see um yeah i'm sure i'm sure he won't react positively at that we'll see okay anyway so yeah that's it guys so thank you guys for watching and um this was my reaction to shaman king episode number 30 if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out
Thank you guys for watching again and I'll see you guys next week with another episode of Shaman King. Until then, goodbye and have a nice day.